my favorite memories as a kid was waiting in the library for my dad who was at school and like desperately looking for comic books or anything, you know, and like the library I had that we were at had two books. It was like a Batman hardcover book with like black and white reprints of old Batman comics and then there's a Superman one. So every time we would go to the library, I'm like, I knew exactly what section, what shelf, where they were. It's like, you know, if they were both gone, it was a disaster, you know, but usually the, one or the other was there and so I would always check those out. And that was like one of my greatest memories, you know, it's like I, had, I read those books over and over again. And, and, uh, and so now, like, I talk to librarians, and I'm like, you have a, there's a whole graphic novel section? I'm like, I'm so jealous of, like, kids. Things. I read a ton when I was a kid, so, you know, I read a lot of like, Savage and The Shadow and, like, all the old pulp books and, like, Ian Fleming. And um, so I read a lot of that stuff. And then as I got older, I read things like Catch-22. And then um, and Vladimir Nabokov, of all people, you know, was one of my bigger influences, which I don't even know if that comes through at all. Uh, but I love his stuff, and and, uh, and so I think more prose novels have informed like what I do, like as a grown up. Um, but I think you know, Kids Twenty Two is probably one of those books where I read it. And I was like, this is the storytelling is like different than anything I've ever read, and, and I want to try to do something equally groundbreaking in comics. Honestly, I look at genres as the candy coating to a story. So like, I have a basic idea for a story, and then. To me, as an artist, like the artist to me wants to draw something that's fun to draw. So, you know, detectives have great hats, you know, usually, mm -hmm. and there's and there's usually some guns or like some sort of crime involved, and all that stuff is fun to draw. So, um, genre is always the thing that makes it fun to draw and look at, you know. So, like in science fiction, kind of the same, you know. Like I just like. Graphic novels are a visual medium, so yes. I want to tell a story that's about the character and what they're thinking and feeling and what they're going through and like um, all the things that make characters great. Uh, but since it's visual, I want to make it something I'm not going to be bored drawing after a couple of days. You know, like it takes yeah. me a long time to put a book together, so I want it to be something fun and interesting. And uh, so a lot of times, the story is driven by the character, but it's also driven by like just purely what I feel like drawing. So I'll, like of all of my books. Honestly, every book I've gone into writing, I'm like, I want to do a book that my wife would read. And my wife is the perfect example of someone who reads, but she doesn't, never really got into graphic novels, didn't read comic books as a kid. Um, and comic books can be hard to read if you've never read them. You know? right. And so my goal is always to find something that not only appealed to her subject matter-wise, but also was told in a way that's, that, you know, if you hadn't read a lot of comics, you could read. So Three Story is the one book I've done where that's her favorite book, you know, and, it, and I, it took me like four or five books to figure out what book would be the one that she would like, you know, and that was the first one where she's like, this is my favorite book, I really love this. So, of my books, that's what I would say. Of all books in general, um, I'm trying to think of what, I think, uh, Darwin Cook's crime books that he's doing, he's oh, adapting Parker those books? Parker books, mm -hmm. yeah, I think those are fantastic, and like the, the storytelling is so clean and clear. And, and, but still like inventive, you know, and it's using comics in a great way, like, I can't, I think that that's probably what I would recommend.